we've got a secret package from our friend Dean in California. Do not lay flat, fragile, well I guess we probably shouldn't have laid it flat and driven a car over it then. Well, hopefully it's alright. Got a knife here, let's open this up and see what could be fragile. See if I can open this without cutting my fingers off or decapitating myself or anyone else nearby. It's a freaking problem right here. Was I allowed to cut the stickers or were they fragile? I think that was okay. Got a side here. Oh, there appears to be something in there. And it's not a corpse. At least not like one I've ever seen. Thank you for not sending a corpse, Dean. Much appreciated. Now, a case of beer would be fine, though. This thing is wrapped for space travel, that's for sure. They probably don't pack things in this. Like satellites as well as this. This thing is like crazy wrapped here. See, when I wrap things, it's like two pieces of duct tape and an inside out cereal box. Because that way people get the joy of a package and realizing they've just gotten an inside out box of Cocoa Puffs. Yay, it's like Christmas, but better because you can eat it. Friggin' chainsaw. This will be the uh, new game. Mark versus packaging. Where packaging usually wins. I'm trying to be delicate with this. There we go. This is like peeling back layers of an onion, except without tears. Well, there might be tears. Tears of joy, I guess we'll find out. Oh, there's another box in here. Damn it. Alright, we've got another box here to cut open. Quite a packing job there, Dean. About 20 minutes later here. We've got a Lagunitas IPA beer poster, which I think we can find a home for this on the wall. Just peel this apart here. It's something red. It's something that looks a lot like a giant. El Camino. Now we gotta find a place to hang this thing. This is really nice. After an exciting unboxing, here we have a gigantic painting of an El Camino with a Lord Carnage license plate by our friend Dean in California. Can you see how amazing this is? Hand painted. And it's, uh, it's quite something. A 1968 SS El Camino by our friend Dean Thompson at deanscoolcars.com. And I actually uh, saw one of these on his website that he did of the Mad Max Interceptor, which is really cool. So that's Dean's Cool Cars, spelled with a K, cool, cool and cars are spelled with Ks. So I'm sure you can find that online. Giant El Camino. Now we've got to find a place for this, which is going to be a little bit tricky in our temporary studio space here, as I'm getting a, a couple arcade machines in soon, and then we're going to put the El Camino on this wall or that wall, which you can't see right now because they're not very exciting, and uh, will be featured in many shots, and of course, as we move on to a different studio someday. Even though I'm not supposed to lay this thing flat, for a couple shots here, I'll show it to you on our desk. And uh, the detail is, is really remarkable. I was always good at drawing, but I could never paint worth a damn. So this is just really impressive, Dean. Very good job. And he also sent a wall hanging kit. So Dean, thank you very much once again. We're 
going to put this thing up over the next week or so, as well as uh, hooking up some new arcade games. So an El Camino with a giant centipede arcade machine is a pretty kick-ass combination, if you ask me. So a giant thank you to Dean from California once again. He sent a lot of little toy cars. Now he sent a giant El Camino painting, which is going to look amazing on the wall and on the show. I'll do a full review later when it's actually hanging and in a nice presentation place. But until then, thank you, and I love the Lord Carnage Pennsylvania license plate. Lord Carnage would be proud, but he doesn't need a driver's license. He just does what he wants.